Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. It's Tuesday, so it's time for Tuesday Talks. Did you miss me last week? I was out of town, that's why I didn't post. I went to pick up a lamb. We bought a share and a lamb. We bought a half a lamb to stock the freezer for the winter, which I'm really excited about. That's what my grandma used to always do. She would buy portions of meat from people who raise animals, which I've never done that before, but here we are. Anyway, um, oh, for people who don't know me personally, my name is Shalina. I'm the herbalist at Fiery Maple Holistic Healing. And today I figured that I would share some of my herbal book recommendations. Because lots of people ask me, like, what books do you recommend? Ha, huh, funny, lots. By lots, I mean, like, few people have asked me. But whatever, that's people. People have asked me, what books do I recommend? So I'm here with three type of... Well, really two type of books I recommend when you're starting your journey. And for me, I'm very passionate about the mentality that this is your birthright. This is information that you should have, that you should know. Um, I studied very briefly with a naturopathic doctor in Detroit, and I really liked his philosophy. He said that it's his hope that one day there will be a healer in every home. Um, that's what he wants. He wants herbs to be mainstream. He wants people to be feeling, you know, self-sufficient that they can help themselves, at least with like the more common type of um, ailments that people have. And honestly, that's how things were a long time ago, right? Like every village or community definitely had their shaman or their wise woman or their, um, their person who they went to for healing. And then a lot of times, like the women folk, um, had a lot of healing knowledge that they passed down. Um, even outside of the, you know, village elders or whoever. So anyway, this is your birthright, this information. Herbs are not supposed to um, be complicated and difficult to use. This is the medicine for humans. Although I do think for like serious conditions, or you should probably consult with someone who has been trained. But there's so many things that you can take care of, of um, on your own if you have the right tools. So I recommend that if you're just starting out and you wanna know like, okay, what kind of herb book should I buy? Your very first thing would to be buy, would to purchase a reference book. So something like this. This is one of my favorites. This is the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Healing Remedies. I don't know if you can see. You can see, look, how cheap this was. I got this like at Borders on Sale for $10.98. I mean, that was a long years ago, years ago, but still. This is great. Um, it says it has over a thousand natural remedies. And what I like about this book is that, and honestly, any reference book, it should have a really good index. It has a great index. It also has a good uh, glossary. And I love that it's broken down by body systems. Um, no. I like that it's broken down several different ways. So it starts off with... Um, Ayurveda, so it talks about some of the most common herbs used in um, Ayurvedic, uh, what, what did I call it? That type of healing. That's the, um, the medicine from India. Really good. Then they talk about traditional Chinese medicine. They talk about Western herbalism. Um, they talk about food medicine. So it even talks about horseradish and oats and... Uh, cabbage and onions and celery and then it's broken down also um by categories so they i love it it has a whole section of vitamins all the vitamins what they do how they're key in your healing journey they talk about um also uh homeopathic remedies which i highly respect i don't know a ton about i have very limited knowledge about that and um what else well, and of course, herbs. So anyway, get yourself a good reference book. This is the one I use and I like. The Encyclopedia, the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Healing Remedies. This is a good one. Now, if you're someone who like, uh, some people are minimalist. They don't, I'm a book junkie. I have a ton of books. But if you want a smaller reference, then something like this could work too. This is a good one. Herbal Remedies by Andrew... Chevalier? I don't know. Is he French? I don't know how he pronounces that. Chevalier? Anyway, this one has a good index as well. I like it. It has all these pictures. All the um, 
reference books I have have really good pictures, which I like. Can you see that? So here's a little mini version. So you'll need to get a good reference book. This is another one. National Geographic makes a lot of good ones. The World of Healing Plants. So this is the Guide to Medicinal Herbs. It's a National Geographic book. This was probably also on sale for like 10 or $11 or whatever. This one's also broken down by body system, which I like. So this is a good one. The next type of book, if you decide that you have a more serious interest in herbal remedies, then you would probably want to get more like a text book type of herbal book. This is the first one I studied formally, the first um, course I took. This is what the instructor recommended, and it's called The New Holistic Herbal. It's by David Hoffman. It's been around, I think, since the 70s. It's um, really good. See? You see? This one goes a, is, goes a little bit beyond the, um, the reference books because it also talks about the chemistry of the herbs and the actions. And it goes more in depth about the different body systems. You also can easily look it up. I like how they have that. They have a pretty good index. But they also, in the back, where you can just go to, like, your issue. Arthritis. Acne. Appetite loss. Anxiety. And it just gives you, like, a list of herbs to consider. So that's really good for a person who's kind of just starting out on their herbal journey. The New Holistic Herbal. David Hoffman. Haha. -ha. Highly recommend. Okay, so I said three types of books. This isn't a type of book. This is more just like a book I love. I love, I love, I love. If you decide you really, really are into it, this is this, this is like my herb bible right here. Here we go. The Energetics of Western Herbs. It's a two-part. It's volume one and volume two. It's by someone named Peter Holmes. It's got such a great index. It has a ton of herbs in it. And um, what makes it different from the other ones is it goes from a traditional Chinese medicine perspective. So let's see. It's a good example. Hearthorn. I love Hearthorn. Use it a lot. So it talks about... So instead of just like a Western herb... Um, We'll talk about the different actions and things like that, a Western herbal book. But this also talks about the energetics. So it says things like, oh, it tonifies the heart chi. Um, it vitalizes heart blood and restores, you know, coronary circulation. Um, I don't know. I just like it. But it also will break down all the constituents. So for people who are, like, into the chemistry side of it, which I, um, that's not the part that fascinates me. As much but there are clinical herbalists who just love to know like exactly how the herb works like they have much more of a scientific perspective like oh this this particular chemical does this and that one does that and you know this one it has enzymes it has saponins it has triglycerides it has tannins it has this it has that I admire those people um, but chemistry was never the thing that I was really interested in. Anyway, this is a great book, The Energetic of Western Herbs. I have it on good authority that many herbalists use these like their Bible, like it's our go-to. It's definitely my go-to. Um, anything else? Do I have anything else? Nope, that's all I have. Oh, if you're watching this on YouTube, will you please like, comment, or subscribe? Or, or if, no, there's no follow on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. That's what I need you to do if you're on YouTube. Okay. Um, I hope you have a great rest, rest of your week. Thanks for watching. Bye.